Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay. And as you you can probably guess from that intro uh, that I just did, you know, on the wire and everything, you can't see it. I'm, I'm going to add some CGI and shit later. Probably not, but... Um, we are here today to do a trailer reaction for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, the official trailer. I remember they released the teaser quite a few months back. Um, was really awesome. I'm really excited for this film. Had it my most anticipated... Uh, I'm a big fan of the Mission Impossible franchise, so looking forward to this one. But excited to check it out. Let's go. Our lives are the sum of our choices. The Tom Cruise is running. Escape the past. Ethan, this mission of yours. is changing. Truth is vanishing. War is coming. It's been a long time, friend. You have no idea the power I represent. It knows your story and how it ends. Listen to me. The world's coming after you. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? If anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. How does Tom Cruise do it, bruh? Ethan, what's your objective? What's your ultimate objective? Your life will always matter more to me than my own. None of our lives can matter more than this mission. I don't accept that. Awesome trailer. I liked it. That's pretty awesome shit. Yeah, it looked cool. It looked fun. I mean, I, I look at Mr. Impossible fans just the same way I look at Fast and the Furious. They're both... They're both... Wait, now we're not about to get into no, it. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to get into it. I'm saying they do some outrageous things, and we love it. And okay. we like the franchise for what it is. Tom Cruise too old to be doing shit like this, to be honest. Tom Cruise should be motherfucker. Have you seen? I don't care. Have Tom, you seen the way Tom Cruise looks? That doesn't matter, bro. Age <laughs> still matters. You tell me Tom Cruise could be doing this shit in the movies, fire motherfuckers, getting hit, knocked down from shit at yes. fifty years old. Yes. Stop. Yes. And Dom Terrell looks the same way. He's swole too. But my point, my point is, what I'm saying is, these film, these yeah. films continue to come out because they have a major fan base who love them. Tom Cruise, of course, loves this franchise. It's his franchise. But I can at least say that Mission Impossible has more con been more consistent from the jump since f than Fast and the Furious. Well, that's because it's always been in spy movies. Okay. Fast and the Furious kind of had to go a little bit different because they were trying to do something outside just car racing. You can only do how so many car racing films. Mm -hmm. But for them, it worked also because people love those films. Fast X come out this week. I'm sure it's going to do crazy numbers. Similar to Mission Impossible. I think Mission Impossible will do very well. I think there's a hardcore fan base for it. This trailer was really good. Gives you everything you want as a Mission Impossible fan. I'm not a Mission Impossible fan like that, but gives you everything you want a Mission Impossible movie. Um, action. You can see a villain who was great played by a great actor. Mm -hmm. You get Tom Cruise and the gang all back together again, doing some cool stuff. They show you some cool stunts he's doing in this. So overall, I think it's a good trailer. I think it's fun. Great summer, summer film. It's going to do very well. 
Yeah, it does look good. I like uh, S.A. Morales as the villain. Mm -hmm. Um, He played Deathstroke in Titans. Um, Probably one of the highlights from that show. Out of out of (laughs) everything that show was, he was one of the 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 the, you know small little highlights from it. Um, You know. I thought, I mean, technically, he probably would be my favorite Deathstroke because we didn't get to see Joe Man- uh, Manganiello's uh, besides that damn end credit scene. Um, but he was he was awesome as Deathstroke and Titans, so I think he's going to be a really dope villain in this. Um, I wonder how Haley Atwell plays into this film because I, I like I like her as an actress. I think she's great. Um, she's fine too, um, which is a bonus. <laughs> but you know, because like. Isn't his love interest is like Rebecca Ferguson uh, in this franchise now? You know, he had his wife, then their whole she was dead, but then she ain't dead, and then he left her to keep her safe. Rebecca Ferguson's been kind of the Ethan Hunt's uh, love interest, so I wonder, like, does one of them die, or does she die in this damn film? So Haley Atwell can be the new love interest, or is Haley Atwell well even does he does she even play a love interest at all? Um, that remains to be seen, but I am here for this film. Like I said, I love this franchise. Uh, it's awesome. Probably one of the best spy franchises out there. So, I will be seeing this. Let me see, who's the brother? Where have I seen him from before? It's all dude from, uh, from, um... From a lot of things, you've seen him before, and, uh, most recently he did, he did, pa- he was in, um... Ray Donovan, he was also in um, Lord right of the Rings. The black guy? That ain't, that ain't the same guy. It's from Lord of the Rings. That is not the same guy. Stop yes, it. it is. Stop. It's the black guy from Lord of the Rings, bro. He looks, he looks more like the black guy from Top Gun. Huh? Top Gun Maverick? No, that's the black guy. That's not, that is not that. That's the black guy from Lord of the Rings, bro. Bro, stop. Okay, watch. I'm about to prove you wrong. All right, go ahead. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right, let's see. I know that ain't the guy from Lord of the Rings, bro. Oh, Who is it? That is Greg Tarzan Davis. He played the role of Javi Coyote Machado in the Top Gun Maverick film. Okay, so I was wrong. Right. Yep. Okay. Hey, I ain't knock you. I was wrong. I, I take miles when I'm wrong. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even notice. Because um, I, I, like, I noticed this girl in the trailer, the, the Asian chick right here. Uh-huh. That's a Mantis from Guardians. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Mantis. I didn't, I didn't know that. I just saw it right here when I was looking up the cast. Huh. Okay. Yeah, pretty stacked cast. Um, but yeah, this trailer looks awesome. Looks amazing. Tom Cruise, man. He just keeps doing it with these damn franchises. And it works. It works. Uh, so I'm here for it, uh, but this looks awesome. What did you guys think of Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning uh, Part One, the official trailer? Be sure to let us know your thoughts on it down below, and be sure to give us our, your ranking of the Mission Impossible uh, films as well. I would love to see that. We would love to see that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction slash review of the trailer. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre Javante, and this is Dre and Jay. Deuces. Deuces.